Biotinidase deficiency is a disorder of biotin recycling that causes impairment of fatty acid and glucose synthesis and of amino acid catabolism. If left untreated, affected individuals develop neurological problems including seizures, hypotonia, and ataxia. There are two types of biotinidase deficiency. Profound means less than 10% of mean normal enzymatic activity and partial is 10 to 30 percent reduced activity. The combined instance of profound and partial deficiency is 1 in 61,000. Both types of deficiency are inherited as an autosomal recessive disorder in which each parent is a carrier and the recurrence risk for future affected children is 25 percent. This illustrates why the biotinidase enzyme is important. Biotin is an essential B vitamin. It is attached to certain enzymes through the holocarboxylase synthetic reaction to create functional holocarboxylase enzymes. These enzymes are then involved in amino acid catabolism, fatty acid synthesis, and gluconeogenesis. Biotin, however, must be recycled by proteolytic degradation, which first produces a substance called biocytin. Biocytin is made up of a biotin molecule covalently bound to the amino acid lysine. Biotinidase is the only enzyme that is able to cleave lysine from biocytin to produce free biotin, which can then be recycled. Babies born with biotinidase deficiency cannot effectively recycle biotin, and they become biotin deficient, causing cascading problems in enzyme function. In newborn screening for biotinidase deficiency, a colorimetric test is used. Biocytin is added to the blood spot to measure biotinidase activity. If the colorimetric test shows reduced enzymatic activity, a presumptive positive is reported and confirmatory testing is needed. The gold standard for confirmatory testing is determination of blood biotinidase enzyme activity as indicated in the lower box. Blood is then obtained from the newborn and a direct measurement of the biotinidase enzyme activity is compared against that of a non-affected control. Once the amount of enzymatic activity is known, the newborn can be classified as normal or having profound or partial deficiency. DNA testing to identify the genetic causation is also available, but this is not necessary for confirmation of biotinidase deficiency although it may be very important for obtaining a complete genetic evaluation. Babies identified with profound biotinidase deficiency receive a lifelong treatment of 5 to 10 milligrams of oral biotin per day and they have no clinical problems and treatment is effective. Biotin therapy for partial biotinidase deficiency is controversial. Babies may either receive 5 to 10 milligrams of oral biotin per day as a precautionary measure, or only receive 5 to 10 milligrams per day of oral biotin in times of illness or stress. Carriers for biotinidase deficiency are normal and do not need biotin therapy.